So I independent observers in. Robbie Moore. And I welcome the opportunity to speak in this debate. The situation in Kashmir is of so much importance to people right across the United Kingdom. And of course, this is no different in Keighley, which is home to many British Pakistani Kashmiris, many of whom have loved ones in the region. And I must take this opportunity to thank all of my constituents who have contacted me, be it through face-to-face -face meetings on social media, uh, through letter or email, expressing their deep concern about the abhorrent human rights issues that are happening in Kashmir. I hear their concerns, which is why at the beginning of this year, I took the opportunity to speak on this very topic, expressing my ongoing concerns to government ministers in this place. Kashmir has been living under heavy lockdown restrictions since August 2019, following the special status of Jammu and Kashmir being revoked by India. And we should be clear about what this actually means. No foreign journalist being allowed into Jammu and Kashmir by the Indian government. Thousands of people being arrested without any due cause and face harassment and imprisonment. Lawyers small business owners, journalists, students and, of course, human rights activists. Phone lines have been blocked and internet access taken away. Although some communication has been restored, it is still very patchy and heavily controlled by the government. Education has been severely disrupted. Legal reforms have been uh, made so that, in, uh, so that residents' property rights can be revoked. Properties have been destroyed and innocent people are losing their lives. And yesterday I received a letter from the High Commissioner of Pakistan which His Excellency wished to bring me up to speed on the continuing violations of human rights and human dignity perpetrated by India in India-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. It is reported that nearly 3,431 cases of war crimes have been perpetrated by the Indian forces in this disputed territory. I have been informed that over 1,000 houses have been destroyed since special status was revoked. And all of this, quite rightly, is causing a huge amount of concern for many of my constituents across Keighley. And I know that my honourable friend, the member for Dudley North, who can't be here today, also shares my concerns. From reports of brutalism of the Kashmiri society being made possible through draconian laws, the sole aim of which is to perpetrate the occupation and facilitate violence with impunity. As elected politicians here in the United Kingdom, we cannot decide on domestic policy within another country, but we can use our influence to ensure that this terrible situation is investigated and that our government use its weight and its influence to put pressure or to seek a solution. I'm very grateful to him, and he's making a very powerful case, which will save him a little bit of time in a moment. Will he agree with me that we need to say to those people in India and indeed in Pakistan who would prefer us not to debate these matters, that we have no choice because so many of our constituents have friends and family in the area and perhaps even our own homes there? Yeah. Uh, my honourable friend makes an excellent point because we are here to absolutely represent our constituents who do have loved ones in Kashmir who are deeply concerned about the horrific situation that is continuing. The UK's fundamental values are freedom and democracy and that applies not only to the situation in Kashmir but right across the world and of course we are seeing ter a terrible situation in um, uh, in China with uh, the Uyghur Muslims as well. I would like to see UN human rights officials get access to both sides of the lines of control to find out the facts. And of course, India and Pakistan are both long-standing friends of our country and that is strengthened by a large Indian and Pakistani communities right across the UK. But a solution uh, to the situation in Kashmir must be sought. After all, both countries are nuclear powers, and of course this solution must be sought at speed. Imran Hussain.